हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वेल यू आर आल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1270 एंड सेवेंटी एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज द लीवर्स रोल इन स्ट्रेस स्टोरेज एंड लेट मी मेक इट वेरी वेरी क्लियर मोस्ट ऑफ अस वी आर नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग the very importance of liver in our body this is one of the most important organ which is taking care of uh, storing and managing a variety of human stress one stress we call it physiological stress other one is biological stress third one is chemical stress social stress emotional stress lot of lot of stress every moment we are under tremendous stress and it is only liver which is storing all type of stress biological physiological and chemical and it is processing minimizing the risk and in many cases it is treating and converting some chemicals into the negative ones into positive ones for example uh, our 25% blood is always there in our liver and blood is detoxified because by liver and it is stored there so what is d toxification means whatever toxins are present in the blood it is all filtered off in the liver and stored there and then flush out for example uh, ammonia in your blood very harmful when your blood goes to liver immediately it is converted into urea so that ammonia liver is converting into urea and that urea will pass on into your blood and it will be filtered up by your kidney so in this way the very uh, toxic substance ammonia is totally uh, taken care that is stress ammonia is, is taken care by liver then your sugar if there is excess sugar in your body where we don't need and it when it goes there because blood is there going and blood is the carrier of all these substances blood chemistry is totally uh, we can say full of different protein different type of uh, fat triglycerides sugar all these materials so once it is in excess is not required immediately that glucose is converted into glycogen and that glycogen is stored in in the liver in the form of storage and whenever you are in some high demand of glucose for energy purpose for some work you are doing and where you need more glucose then that glycogen will be converted into glucose and it will be supplied to your brain and your blood to take care of energy then come to inflammation i am discussing nowadays because lot of publications are there how to control our acute and chronic inflammation liver is playing very important role in controlling the production of a variety of protein like cytokines cytokines are protein molecules and they are uh, just like uh, information molecule collecting the information inviting the uh, immune cells to fight the pathogen bacteria virus so that cytokine if it is produced in excess sometimes it may start destroying our normal cells that is called autoimmune condition so in that case immediately liver will keep check and balance and only required amount of cytokines are produced then for our mental health 
we need hormone it is taking care of hormone balance and our hormones chemicals are mainly the stress ones that is cortisol so cortisol if excess is produced you will be in tension and lot of anxiety it will be controlled and converted into cortisol o n e means keto group so this liver is doing miracle of storing lot of uh, toxins and if in case someone is suffering from liver damage liver dysfunction liver cirrhosis fatty liver it clearly indicates that the liver has exhausted in its storage capacity it is too much beyond its capacity only then liver will give up otherwise if you are taking care of your lifestyle lifestyle includes everything your good and bad habits like alcohol smoking going to lot of taking trans fat red meat so all these things are slowly putting pressure on your liver so i am going to give one by one and it's very very important function before that i will show you one uh, diagram here so here liver is shown uh, and the arrow is showing it how different uh, stress storage is taking place uh, in the form of glycolysis where the glucose is converted into glycogen where some proteins some fatty material carbohydrates they are all conversion is taking place ammonia is converted into urea and then cytokine wbc they are all managed also uh, the lot of toxins which are coming because of uh, blood flow because 25% blood is coming uh, to liver to detoxify so this diagram is showing all the storage activity of our liver so here i have given the summary of some of the latest research studies published in different journals and they are very much uh, scientifically proven all these factors so number 1 it is supported by many scientific studies here are some of the latest research studies about the role of liver as a stress storage organ and in many of the publication they have mentioned that it is the best stress storage uh, organ and your lot of i have already told you variety of stress you are under the ocean of stress and that is taken care by one of the very very important organ is called liver number 2 first is that is physiological evidence so we are going to give uh, two evidence one is physiological and second is biochemical evidence how liver is storing the stress a blood flow i have already told you that 25% of your body blood is flowing through uh, liver and there the treatment is taking place to remove the stress and that process is called detoxification detoxifying of the blood and i have told you that like ammonia and some other uh, even some nicotinic particles some alcoholic uh, traces which are found in blood all are removed and that process is called detoxifying of the blood so blood flow the liver requires 25% of a body's total blood flow uh, making it primary platform for stress storage so that stress storage means your blood is already under stress because of the different type of biochemical uh, uh, i can say uh, either uh, in the form of particle in the form of protein in the form of liquid they are all present in the blood and that stress is reduced by detoxifying it uh, storage and like detoxification and stress processing work b 
न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर मीन्स इट इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर प्रोटीन दैट इज कॉल्ड सेरेटोनिन एंड डोपामीन एंड दे आर कंट्रोलिंग योर मूड इफ इट इज इज एक्सेस यू विल बी इमोशनली डिसबैलेंस एक्साइटेड सो दैट इज टेकिंग केयर बाय कंट्रोलिंग दैट स्ट्रेस केमिकल so that is neurotransmitter uh, uh, the liver regulate neurotransmitters like serotonin dopamine which are involved in stress response c hormone regulation so your i mean behavior temperament anxiety is are that is called controlled by hormone is cortisol and if it is in excess you will be mad so that one immediately your cortisol is converted into cortisone so that it is regulated by liver and in this way uh, your anger or violent behavior will be drastically controlled by this regulation of the hormone and that is the role of liver here so hormone regulation the liver reg uh, regulates stress hormone like cortisol adrenaline and insulin so adrenaline and insulin they are also such type of hormone that they can create problem so it is all controlled if suppose excess insulin is produced there will be uh, hyperglycemia i mean hypoglycemia means your uh, uh, blood sugar will be reduced if it is uh, uh, insulin is in i mean produce in less quantity then you will be suffering from diabetic condition that is called hyperglycemia so hyper and hypo less and more sugar in blood is controlled by liver then number 3 is that is biochemical evidence so biochemical evidence means a liver converts cortisol into cortisol and that is reducing stress b glycogen stores liver stores uh, glucose in the form of glycogen and whenever there is time in the which is uh, released uh, during your stress and when you are exhausted you feel less energy then that glycogen is converted into glucose and it is released in the uh, blood uh, c inflammation stores is a very interesting part liver is also responsible of storing inflammation molecule that is called cytokine protein molecule and if it is uh, released in excess you will suffer from autoimmune disease it will start killing its own cell larval cells so that is controlled by liver that how much cytokine protein molecule should be released and cytokine protein molecule is is working just like uh, uh, we can say invitation a molecule to invite the immune cells to come and uh, attend the emergency fight the bacteria and virus that is the main role of cytokine and, and it should be under control that is controlled by liver uh, which is transmitted to chronic inflammation and to reduce the inflammation can cause physical stress d antioxidant defense uh liver also uh, is producing uh, glutathione that is called uh, glutathione so that glutathione is powerful antioxidant and once you have oxidative stress that glutathione is released by the uh, liver to just control your oxidative stress so i have given here i have copied down uh some scientific evidences that really liver is storage of variety of stress and because of that always liver will be 
under stress if you have lot of uh, i can say chronic stress which is beyond the capacity of liver to handle so these are all scientific evidences uh, scientific evidence of stress stores by liver number 1 fatty liver so if you are getting fatty liver means your liver is uh, having uh, i mean lot of uh, problem in storage of uh, different toxins different hormones because it is getting exhausted that's why it is turning into fatty liver recent research study show that fatty liver is having direct link with chronic stress if you are having always persistent stress for years for many years that will convert your liver into fatty liver it indicates that you have to reduce your chronic stress number 2 stress induces liver damage your liver will get damaged and that is induced by your stress so acute or chronic stress can cause liver damage and this liver damage is nothing but it is inflammation and that inflammation is called liver fibrosis so if it is mild or acute inflammation of liver it is called uh, liver fibrosis and if it is chronic inflammation of liver which is i mean we can say almost your liver is damaged that is called liver cirrhosis so this is the another in, i mean scientific evidence that your liver is really uh, stress stores having great capacity then emotional impact liver dysfunction or damage can cause anxiety depression and mood disorder so if your liver is already exhausted means under tremendous pressure then you will develop it means your liver is not properly functioning it is damaged it is towards dysfunction and then you will develop anxiety frequently mood disorder and depression then mind body connection this triangle is very important one is liver gut and brain they go hand in hand if your liver is okay your gut means your large intestine and your digestive system also your brain they will function normally so if your liver is poor your gut health will be poor and your memory will be poor so they are all that is called axis of triangle of these three uh, axis suggests the uh, trigonal relationship if your liver is poor means your gut health will be poor and your memory your mind will be poor it is very important a uh, relationship then a uh, note i have given a note out of my experience uh, to take care of the healthy liver a uh, note maintain healthy liver through diet exercise and that is uh, food avoid no trans fat and keep on 80% vegetable and fruits stop alcohol drinking no smoking no uh, junk food and actually it is your that is called choice of lifestyle so lifestyle plays very important role if your choice of lifestyle is bad means always you are smoking heavy drinking heavy smoking always taking rubbish food junk food uh, trans fat your liver will be damaged so that is your choice of bad lifestyle choice of good lifestyle means you are taking sound sleep you are not smoking you are not taking alcohol you are taking fruit vegetables and uh, that is 80% and within that 20% you are taking some uh, rubbish like uh, red meat or whatever 
transfer at any margin in anything. So that if you are taking 80% of fruit and vegetable, that will overlap, that will cover that your uh, misbehavior of 20% food. So with this I will stop, thank you very much for watching the lecture.